I listen to this part, uh, the the Drink Champs podcast, the most recent episode that came out with the game. First of all, four hours, way too fucking long, way too fucking long. But it's drinking it and everybody's having a good time and everything. I'll be down to do it. I'm a drink champ for sure, especially this vacation I'm about to go to. All inclusive, I'm about to be a drink champ times two. Okay, definitely. So I would, I would love to be on drink champs, man. Hey, Nori, hit me up. I'll be on drink champs tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. Whenever you want, I'll be there the next day. I definitely want to do. It. But ju just because like the drink champs episodes, whether you stream them and like right, you listen to them like on whatever platform that you that you you stream them or you're watching on YouTube, it just it just feels like it's a good fucking time, right? It's just you and the boys or whoever you like whoever it is. They're all it just feels like they're all kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what makes it cool shit. And of course the guests make up a big part of it. Like if you have a good guest, it's gonna make a good episode. But the big the things that make them the good episode is the conversations and the topics that they bring up. And the reason why I want to talk about this one because like I said, the four hour one, that's a long episode. Four hours is long, yo. But there was a lot of like gems and funny moments and definitely some topics, you know what I'm saying? Some quotables and some some things that, you know, are going to cause, spark up some debates and conversations on it. The key, the key things that I took away from that episode was one, four hours is fucking long. How they were able to drink the entire time and only have like two piss breaks is amazing. Shouts out to y'all for that. That's number one. And also they might have and it, it could have just been edited. But from what I was listening to, it was just like two, two piss breaks. So four hours. Amazing. That's a lot of drinking. That's a lot of fucking drinking. And it's just like liquor mainly, like 80% just all just liquor. Definitely looking forward to doing that. So that was the first takeaway. The second takeaway was we, we kind of, we, I feel like we not under, what's the word? Underappreciate. I was going to say under, I was stuck between undervalue and underestimate, but that's not what it was. We underappreciate the game as like his stature in hip hop, his music, his, uh, his place. I don't know what I just, he just underrated. No, no. He's just underappreciated. I don't think everybody's ever been like, ah, you know what I mean? Like gaming shit. Cause that's not true. I just feel like he's been underappreciated. I mean, they, they talked about the Super Bowl. Why I did not even know this was a debate in and of itself. I didn't know people were saying they're still talking about this, but he was saying like how people were saying that he was left out. I didn't feel that way. I don't, I don't know. I, that's not what, when you hear about the lineup and when, while watching the performance, that's not like one of the first go-to things that I thought of. Right. I wasn't like, yo, where's game at? That's not what I thought of, but that, uh, but maybe because I just, I, I don't know. I just didn't even think about it. You know, I, I don't even know if I have a specific answer for that, but they chopped that up. They broke all that down and, and there's, you find out that there's even more roots and history to that. And was it intentional? I don't know. That's up for interpretation. And that's up for you guys to debate. If you do listen to the episode or watch it, you know what I'm saying? And, and then. After that, they start getting into like, you know, talking about that old school beef, not even old school, but that, you know, that, that fucking very well documented beef and thing that he had going on with 50 and, you know, everybody else. And you listen to that and you've, what I thought was cool, what I thought was cool about it was that the layers of growth and in between all that, because you got to a point where they're just like, no, everything's good. Like they're cool. I'm not saying they're like homies or anything like that, but to go from like doing from dissing each other to 300 bars and running, which is a good fucking track, by the way, to straight up shootouts and being on beefs. Like, you remember that, the old school DVD beefs, beefs one, volume one, volume two, beefs, like hip hop shit. You used to, you used to um, be able to rent that shit from Blockbusters. True story. I did that. And so to be able to go from that, bro, to like, you know, being able to be, you know, somewhat cordial and understand each other in a way but you know not knowing that you know it's never going to be 100 percent buddy buddy and back to it like it used to be because you know someone lost their lives on that shootout you know i think i want to say yeah someone got shot for sure but you can't come back from a, i mean maybe you know I'm not, I'm not even gonna say you can't because you know they're they're like whatever you know what i'm saying so it was cool to see that i definitely like that growth in that and then what what else did you bring up well we, they were talking about comparisons of musics and everything and again you just i feel like we underappreciate the game and and 
you know, he was retired. He's like 42 now. And, and, you know, he was retired for a minute, but then like doing like, you know, solo tracks or just singles and shit. And now I'm, I'm going to say a whole nother album on the way. And, you know, he's got that track easy with, with Kanye on the Donda 2. And they're breaking that down. And he, and he talks about how that was, a, you know, how that came about his verse. Like they broke down the whole verse and everything. And we actually talked about when Marcos, Marcos Aguilar was here. Shout out to Marcos, bro. When he was here last time, we were breaking that down too. Like we we're talking about the game and how underrated he is. And we were saying like how one of the, one of the knocks on it, if any, if you want to consider it a knock, but they were saying like, you know what I'm saying? His thing is like, he does a lot of name dropping in his music, you know? And ironically, when they were talking about that on the Drink Champs episode, they were saying, like, how he didn't name drop at all. Like, that's rare. Like, they were saying, like, yo, what's, what's up with the name drops? Like, they actually like the name drops. You know what I'm saying? And it turns out there was. We just fucking, we just didn't read between the lines or break, break apart the bars word for word. You know what I'm saying? Cadence for cadence. And apparently there was some. So... It's it's cool, bro. Like you know, that's not the that, another thing too. Is like that's not the first time him and Ye is, have have worked together. You know what I'm saying? Like if you think about if you you can go back all the way to the documentary, fucking um, you can go back to wouldn't get far. Uh, I want to say the devil's advocate. Maybe he was on that one, but Kanye's been he's been there. 